How do you graph and write inequalities? This video is for uh, task 1.7. Please make sure this goes at the top of your paper along with the task title. You can find it in your binder. And this would be the video title that you would write on the left hand column. Here's an example of how your, your note should look like for this video. And just a reminder, there is two videos for, the, for task 1.7. So you would put task 1.7 in the title up top. This is the video title that we're going over now. And then the second video title would go here. And you write your notes and your summaries at the very end. Okay, I thought we'd start off this video by looking at an example, a real world example. The athletes on a lightweight crew team, so this is a crew team right here must weigh 165 pounds or less because they're trying to go as quickly as they can. There has, to be, there has to be a maximum weight. The acceptable weights for these athletes can be described using an inequality. Who knew? What are some possible weights for the athletes on the crew team? Well, if they're 165, anything below that could be a possible weight for the crew team. So we can write an inequality to represent this value instead of writing 165 and an arrow pointing down. Some people may not know that, but we, well, what we could say is that the pounds for an athlete have to be, and we'll put P as pounds, has to be less than or could be equal to 165 pounds. So I just described what I wrote in words. It's pounds have to be less than or equal to 165. This could represent the weight needed for any athlete on the crew team. We're we'll discuss how I figured out which inequality to use, and we're going to also demonstrate how to draw it on a number line and how to create an inequality from a number line. Okay, first of all, you want to pause the video right now and make sure you get down the definition and also each one of these tabs and bars explaining what the inequality symbols are. So go ahead and pause and write this all down and then resume when you're ready to follow along with me. And I'll assume that you already paused and you have everything down, so let's begin. An inequality is a statement that two quantities are not equal, which is why we can't use an equal sign. Instead, we have to use an inequality symbol. And the quantities are compared by using the following symbols here. Less than, this is A equals less, is A is less than B, and here is how you would notate that. And by the way, notice how I said less than, so you got to read from left to right. And I tell students this, that the small part means less, the open part is greater than or greater. So if you're reading from left to right, you want to say less than the other number or symbol. For this symbol, this is greater than. Notice it has the larger part open and we read left to right. So this is A greater than B and in words, here it is. Here, whenever there's a bar underneath inequality, it means or equal to, or equal to. So this is similar to this symbol. It just has the bar underneath it. So this is less than or equal to, and this is greater than or equal to. Notice the symbol, same thing as greater than. However, it has the bar underneath it, so it's greater than or equal to. And if two quantities do not equal, we show that by drawing a line through the equal sign, which I've been doing with you guys, and we've been practicing this. So make sure that you know how to read and use inequalities because they're going to come in handy later on. Let's look at a few examples where we have to write inequalities and graph them. Okay, here's our example number one. We are going to graph the inequality. M is less than or equal to negative 3. Notice how I said that out loud, so I'm going to go and write that down. M, oops, Let's see if I get my pen to work. M is less than or because of the bar underneath equal to equal to negative 3. In order for me to show that I'm going to graph it on the number line so I'm going to go to negative 3 on the number line and I'm going to draw a closed circle since it's equal to all because of that bar underneath and I'm going to go ahead and shade and color in everything that's less than negative 3 which is to the more less side and I'll shade it in, and I'll go ahead and shade in the arrow too. And this demonstrates that all values that are less than or equal to negative 3. And so I can either figure that out by looking at the inequality and writing it into words, 
or I can look at the number line and that demonstrates all values for m less than or equal to negative 3. Okay, here is example number 2. We are going to graph the inequality. Now I want you to realize that the steps are on the right hand side. You should definitely pause the video, write down everything you see on the slide, and then resume when you're ready to follow along with me. And as you can see, this looks really complicated. That's because we, could, we need to simplify it first. So we're going to go ahead and do our order operations. We work on the parentheses, what's on the inside first. So negative 1 plus 3 is 2. We're going to multiply that by 5. And so my inequality is t less than 10. And I'll write that down. t is less than 10. And notice that I don't have or equal to because there's no bar underneath. Now, because I have no bar underneath, I'm going to go ahead and draw an open circle on 10. And I want to show all values that are less than 10, which will be to the left. Notice if I said greater than, I would go to the right. And then make sure you draw on your arrow. Now, I've seen students do this, or they draw an arrow up and over. That's also acceptable. But you got to make sure you use the open or closed circle depending on your inequality. Okay, here's our last two examples. We are uh, example three and example four. Make sure you have the graph uh, drawn on your notes. And then when you're ready to follow along with me, you can resume the video. For example three, we need to write an example shown by each graph. Uh, same thing for example four. So you can assign it any variable. Since uh, my last name is Caldwell, I'll start it off with the C. So you're going to go ahead and write your variable. And then you got to figure out which direction you're shading your numbers. Notice that we're gonna, we started off on two, so I can write two. And I know that my inequality will not have a bar underneath it because I have an open circle. And I'm shading all values to the left of the two, which are less than the two. So less than is pointing towards the left. And I have my inequality. Let's go ahead and practice with example four. I'm gonna use C again. You can use any variable you want, any, anything in the alphabet. And I'm at negative 0 0.5 is the number that I'm at. I have a closed circle, so there will be a bar underneath the inequality symbol. And I'm shading everything that's greater to the right of negative 0 0.5. So I'm going to use my greater symbol pointing towards the right. And I have my inequality for the graph. Wow, we did that in only a minute and 20 seconds. So go ahead and write down this reading math slide, uh, and then we'll begin discussing it. What happens when they mention some inequality type of words in a word problem? Well, here's a reminder for you that if a word problem says no more than, what that means is less than or equal to. So the symbol you want to use is the less than or equal to symbol when it says no more than. And when it says at least, that means at least it, or the words mentioned in the word problem, that means greater than or equal to. So at least would be greater than or equal to. So when you're reading math, remember that these words, no more than and at least, translate to less than or equal to or greater than or equal to for inequalities.